Hello, welcome to the review of the week of September 17, 2018. Here are the announcements for this week. Operation Butterweb has started. Bring in lightly used or new jackets or coats and turn them into your pride teacher. Monday and Wednesday, open gym at Greenwood High School, 4.30 to 5.30. So Chicago and Washington, D.C. trips are due October the 5th. Please contact Mr. Lincoln if you have any further questions. Your books are on sale for $30. Get them while they're cheap. Now today in the sports. This week's sports were Monday cross country was home and won with a perfect score. Then on Wednesday, the volleyball team lost against Plainfield. Our next week's sports will be on Monday, the cross country teams will all go up against Beach Grove, Indian Creek, and Franklin. On Tuesday, the boys tennis team will go to their first country match and the volleyball team will have their last home game against Franklin. Then on Thursday, both golf teams and the football teams will have home games and up, go up against Decatur and boys tennis will have their f second round of country. Finally, on Saturday, boys golf will go to country. The cross country team will go to county and volleyball will also go to the <laughs> county. Now to Anderson with the weather. Thank you, Dane. This is the predictive weather forecast for next week. Monday will be scattered thunderstorms with a high of 77 and a low of 66. Tuesday will still be scattered thunderstorms with a high of 76 and a low of 58. Wednesday will be partly cloudy with a high of, 50, of 67 and a low of 50. Thursday will be sunny with a high of 67 and a low of 49. Friday will be mostly sunny with a high of 63 and a low of 46. Um, welcome to the interview for the week of September 17, 2018. We have Mr. Donnell with us, and so we're going to start the questions. So, if you were in a band, what would its name be and what genre of music would it be? Well, if I was in a band, I like the band names where you have a name and then a band, so I like Florence and the Machine. I'm going to be Carl Jung and the Collective Unconscious. And I would be a mixture between rock and roll and uh, bluegrass. Yeah. Um, so if you were not a teacher, what would your job be? That's a good question. I would like to be, and I always wanted to be growing up, a Disney Imagineer. I wanted to be the one that uh, did all the artwork and designed Disney rides. That'd be fun. And if you could only eat at one more restaurant for the rest of your life, where would it be? That's tough. I always tell my wife that I like the, uh, the chipple threat. That's Chick-fil-A, Chipotle, and Chicago's Pizza. But I'd have to say Chicago's Pizza since I work there and I love pizza. I couldn't give it up. That's cool. And what mythical creature would you run into battle on? That's easy, a griffin. You know, you got the body of a lion, the head of an eagle, the wings. You can't go wrong. Great. And then one surprise question for you. Oh. What is different about teaching middle school than teaching elementary school? What is different about teaching middle school than elementary school? All, all of your brains are bigger, and that helps a lot. Uh, it's just, you guys, it's all a really cool age doing things like this. Um, you guys get to pursue your interests more, and so you don't just have to do come into class and listen to one teacher all day long. Uh, it's pretty nice to get to know a lot more kids and see them doing things they love to do. Nice. Okay, so that will be it for our interview questions, and we'll be back with another interview next week. Here's in our question last week. How do you like your new classes for the school year? Results were good, had 100% of the votes, okay, and okay, and bad had none. Our new question for this week is, Reese's Pieces or Reese's Peanut Butter Cups? Can, you can leave your answer in the poll in the card in the upper right corner of this, this video. Now for random facts. Lake Superior is the largest freshwater lake. Celsius and Fahrenheit read the same at 40 degrees, negative 40 degrees. The Law Library of Congress is the world's largest library. You breathe 20,000 times a day. The insect with the longest lifespan is the queen termite. 
Thank you for joining us on this week's episode. If you would like to suggest show ideas, topics, or anything else, then please visit our website or look around our channel. Have a good weekend.